For more on the investigation and whether there will be more criminal indictments, let's go to Sarah Ganim in State College, Pennsylvania. She's a reporter with the Patriot News. And joining us here in New York is Beth Karras, a correspondent for In Session on the True TV Network. She's been covering this case from the very beginning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Uh, Sarah, I'm going to begin with you. This morning, I know it's very early, but it's game day there. How would you describe the mood on campus? Well, you know, last night especially was very different than a normal football Friday night. It was it was quiet, it was solemn, and, and then of course we had that candlelight vigil, which was, uh, you know, the mood on campus was much different than in the past couple of days where there's been some rowdiness and students have been taking a lot of criticism for their behavior. Last night everyone was very well behaved, it was very solemn, there weren't many cheers or chants, it was just quiet clapping after several speakers, but you know, in the back, Behind those several thousand students with all those candles, there were police on horses. So the presence and the, and the idea of what's been going on here this week was still very much known. Uh, uh, Sarah, what's the latest? Uh, how are people reacting to the latest news in Mike McCrary, the fact that he's been put on administrative leave and will not be on the sidelines also today? Well, I think that the, the reason for that was because of the threats that he was getting. And so we know that there has been some negative uh, reaction towards him. The public in particular has been very hard on him in what he knew and when he knew it and what he did or did not do. So he is, uh, he is not going to be at the game for security reasons. And there's a lot of security concerns surrounding the game because the students here have been known to uh, mm -hmm. rush the field, uh, riot after a game. Mm -hmm. It's happened before. It happened this week. So there's a lot of concerns about fan behavior. The yeah, president said yesterday he's going to be particularly looking at student behavior today. I understand. Beth, let me go to you now. We're talking about uh, eight boys over a 15-year period. This is very early in the case. Mm -hmm. Will those boys have to testify, possibly at some point? Yes. However, two of the eight are unidentified. They're known as victims two and eight. No one is named in that grand jury report. But yes, they will have to testify. That's very common. A again, it's very early. Do you expect this case to go to trial eventually or be pleaded out in some way? Well, you know, 94% of state cases plead out. So, yeah, chances are it will, but a lot of cases still do go to trial. So it, it could. Interesting. Joe Paterno has hired this uh, heavyweight lawyer to, yeah. to represent him. If you're Joe Paterno, why do you need a lawyer at this point? Listen, it's very prudent of him to have an attorney to seek some advice. We don't know if it's because he fears potential criminal charges. Maybe he's going to be subpoenaed to testify and he just wants advice of counsel to make sure that, you know, he's... He's, he's okay. Maybe he is contesting his termination and he needs some advice about that. Maybe he fears some civil suits. So it's very prudent. I'm not surprised at all that he has a good attorney. Beth, I know you just came back from State College yeah. in the middle of the night. We appreciate you coming here and joining us this morning. I mean, how would you describe what's going on there from a legal standpoint as you look around the campus and get the vibe? Well, you know, I've, I've done investigations, long-term investigations with three-year grand juries as, uh, as an assistant DA. This is the tip of the iceberg, I think. Now, this was a two-year year investigation. There's no reason to believe these eight children are the only ones. Jerry Sandusky had mm. his foundation since 1977. And I, I do believe that the investigation will widen and, and the, the, cat, the net cast is, is very broad. I did speak with the mm. spokesman for the Attorney General's office and he will not comment right. on further victims who uh, are coming forward. Mm, a lot more to come. Beth Karras yeah. here in New York. Sarah Ganim in State College. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.